all right guys welcome back to the channel <clears throat> and i'm trying to give you an update on the repair on this jack um on this um gear switch module right here and like as i said we had an internal cold failure this is the old one the original one and i just installed the new one or not new but used one so basically you just clip it in here and put it in place this is valid for the range rover and jaguars whatever cars have this so to show it that it actually works this is a used module no programming nothing nothing needed we start the car the car starts before the car did not want to start it was saying that the car was in park um and the gear shift did not want to come up and as you can see everything now is fixed because the gear shift or the gear knob came out or came up and it's in parking and we can do reverse we can do neutral and we can do drive so as you can see everything is fine now and this is what the repair is you need to install another gear switch module okay guys this is just an update and again thanks for watching uh please hit that like and subscribe buttons so that i can keep making more videos and save you tons of money thank you thanks very much see you in the next one hi guys welcome back to the channel and this is 2018 jaguar f pace and the situation today that we have here is that the car the battery went down and now the car when tried to be you know trying to be jumped or uh there's another battery today uh the shop installed the car would not go out of uh it should go into park or neutral uh but it's only when it when you press the this the start button it only starts blinking reverse here very strange situation um and i tried to uh pull the neutral switch in the above uh the engine right next to the intake there's a clip that you unclip and there's like a wire metal wire you pull uh to put in neutral and that stuff does not work for some reason so um i'm gonna get to this uh shifter because i saw a bunch of problems with these um sometimes uh actually breaking internally or sometimes because of electricity doing crazy stuff or uh, sometimes the solders inside getting unsoldered um, and to if you need to get to this uh, shifter module here as you can see it's actually pretty easy um, I took a couple of things apart so you would need to pull these these panels here um, the best advice they can give you the best thing the advice I can give it to use um, a tool right with the, taking this apart is this hook tool, 90 degree hook tool, uh, because, oh, this was on this side. So I grabbed this right here and I got it underneath and then I pulled it up and it came off. Uh, same thing with the right side. Um, the, there is a, so it's these two parts. This part is in, all the way tucked in underneath. Well, that part came when I pulled the whole tram because um, um, there was a piece here that I pulled. Oh, it's this piece. This piece, when you grab this piece on the on the bottom like this, it sits right here around the, around the shifter. You just need to grab it and just pull it, it'll come off. So when, you, when I pulled this thing, I realized this thing actually, this trim piece here is sitting on on the shifter so i need to get this piece out so um the reason why i remove these two sides left and right i also uh had to take four bolts there's one two and three and four bolts here it's these four torques it's t25 torques uh so i can actually move this plastic here right here because this plastic in this corner as you can see here 
um, right here it has an edge that edge goes over this trim piece in the back here but I still manage to once you take these four bolts or these two on each side and you pull this back here like this you'll be able to pull this out because this is not attached to anything as you can see it just clips see these metal clips metal clips uh, this whole trim panel just sits all the way in there um, it sits it sits right here so I just grabbed this again with the hook tool I grabbed this and I pulled it on the left and right side it pulled out and the only thing that's that was sitting here that I couldn't get access to was this back part because it was under this trim but once you open this trim you can force this trim out you can see you can get access to this and I pulled one side and then the other one you got uh, you got um, three plugs here the parking brake plug the other one there's a black plug here and this this black here um, it's those it is those uh, it's these plugs here black one I mean this green one you put you press the clip you open the parking brake you press this clip here and you open and the gray one on the right side you press this clip here and you open you unplug it so now we have clear access to the actual shifter module as you can see we have four uh, torques but these are not going to be 25 they're going they're going to be t20 so i'm going to remove these t20 torques and i should be able to lift the, the shifter module up and once i lift it then i can disassemble and see what's going on out by the way you can see how nasty this car is um, I need to put my glove in here because my hands are getting destroyed so I got my glove because yeah look at this I mean guys please don't ever get to this point look look look, look right here uh, I cannot express my disgust so here we go and that is your gear shifter I think what they call it a GSM not to be confused with the global something whatever the GSM system that they use in the mobile phones we have this nasty lock here and we should be able to get this here we go and that is the shifter module guys pretty simple actually wasn't that bad so now either if you have this you can change it or if you don't well we may have to dive into the abyss and try to disassemble this and see maybe if I see something some people said that they um, I saw online that they actually fixed them or what is it that I see here I see something weird here I wonder why maybe this may be the reason why this is not coming out do you guys see what I see hmm I wonder what this is here. Oh, so this is all over the place. Well, I'm gonna try to clean and see if I can get this out. Because this is why is this thing here in the first place? Obviously, this is not factory. Can this be the cause of this being stuck? Hmm. 
could be, maybe. Okay, well, let me clean this and see what happens. So guys, I use my 90 degree hook tool here also on this part and I'm, I got back to the car but I did open this on my desk there from these clips here they see these clips you lift it up and this will come out this top part so what it looks to me because that seal that we're looking at that rubber uh, what it looks to me this is part of the actual button or this knob that comes out you see this rubber how it's come off and it's disintegrating so that's the that's the actual rubber coming off right here so this is part of the actual knob uh, and in this case you know this is a wear and tear item um, I'm trying to fix this thing for uh, for this shop here so we can get this car running but it, you know this is a customer's fault at this point it's a wear and tear item so if you see this actually in your case uh, plate you know make sure that you inspect this this knob completely to see what's going on with this um, I'm gonna try to connect it again and I'm gonna try to see if it's gonna come out of reverse I'm hoping this is the problem so I connected it and this is the reverse blinking light still um, yeah at this point this something is really wrong with this I may try to open this further because the shop was asking me to try to get a full diagnostic even at this even though at this point this is a wear and tear item already this has to be replaced um, there's just no way to go around this uh, because it's already this rubber is coming apart it's it's getting stuck on the trim right here on in the corners um, so this is a wear and tear item already but I'm gonna try to open this a little bit further just uh, out of curiosity and see why this is not coming out and why it's getting stuck in reverse Okay guys, I tried to disassemble this shifter internally, but I couldn't get anywhere. Um, it's just that top piece that holds the bottom box will not come out. Um, so I left it alone and I came back to the car because now we have it back into park. Uh, for, I don't know how it went back to park, but it looks like this this cylinder here would not let us disassemble this internally um, I'm not sure whether I can disassemble it furthermore um, Unfortunately um, I also decided to do one more step and try to crank the car. The car doesn't start It keeps on saying start um, that the battery is low and then it keeps on saying that you will see in a second that the shifter is not in park. Um, you see gear shifter not in park, but you can see on the bottom that it's in park. So <laughs> what in the world is going on here? So I scanned the car with a, a scanner to see what's, with the, what codes we have. And of course we have a code from the gear shifter to the ECU, ECM. That it says invalid data received from gear shift control module so signal possibility failure that actually pinpoints to an internal electrical failure to this mechanism or the gear shifter module gsm so i don't think i can go any further to try to diagnose anything else because internal electrical failure electronics is a failure I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to repair something that's maybe just too much to deal with uh, this gear shift module needs to be replaced uh, I just hooked up these things just in case that I, I thought that maybe all these electronics here unhooked maybe giving me problems but they're not it still does the same thing this is an eternal failure so this needs to be replaced uh, as you saw, I already gave you the instructions how to remove this. Uh, you can install it back, um, going back the same way. Um, it will be a good thing for you to have a scanner if you're trying to diagnose this problem. So in my case, this is a, a internal electronics problem. This will have to be replaced. 
Um, I don't know how this broke, what happened to it. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure why this computer keeps saying, or the car keeps saying, well, battery when the battery is normal. I'm going to try maybe charge the battery and see why it's doing that. And then maybe something may happen, but I doubt it because maybe something is already bad or burnt. Um, I hope this I hope this video helps you guys to try to do it, you know, self-diagnostic on this or maybe someone at the shop is doing this. Um, feel free to leave your questions or comments in the comment section and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Again, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and please subscribe. Hit, please hit, hit those buttons of like and subscribe. Your support helps me to run this channel and I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much.